The worker puts on his gloves and begins collecting natural rubber. First, he pours out the water, removes the solid rubber from the cup, and scrapes off what's left on the tree. But did you know the rubber tree isn't the only one that produces latex? Trees like eucamia and jackfruit can too. It takes about seven to eight years before a rubber tree is ready to be tapped. Workers make a small vertical cut in the bark that's where the latex starts to drip out. Then they add a diagonal cut and place a strip to guide the latex into a cup. In the old days, people used axes to cut the trees, but now they use a precise 45-degree cut so the latex flows more smoothly and production increases. Natural rubber hardens very slowly, so workers add a small amount of acid to make it solidify faster. They stir it, let it set, and sometimes press solid rubber back into the cup to make the next collection easier. Finally, all the rubber pieces are gathered and sold to factories as raw materials. Today, there's also synthetic rubber, but it's not quite the same. Natural rubber is more flexible and elastic, while synthetic versions can't fully match that natural stretch.